So, if you are a Five Nights at Freddy's fan, I've got some pretty exciting news for you. The cover art for the new Five Nights at Freddy's book has been officially released, not the book itself, but the official cover art for the new book, The Fourth Closet. Today, I'm going to be analyzing the cover art and the description of The Fourth Closet. And trust me, there is a lot to uncover with only these two things. The first thing I noticed, and the first thing I think we all noticed uh, in this cover art, was that Funtime Freddy is the one in this cover art. And what's even more interesting is that he, um, he seems to be in black and white, which is a very odd choice given that all the others tend to be in color. This leads to another interesting thing, that the whole cover art seems to be projected off of a TV, or at least that's what the shading makes it look like. Also, if you look in the background, you can see a computer chip, which could have something to do with the animatronics programming, and given, and given that this is Funtime Freddy, clearly meaning that it was programmed by Afton, then that could give us some insight. I'll get back to this in just a minute. Before I start analyzing the description, I just want to say that I think I know what the fourth closet is. I'll tell y'all uh, what I think it is at the end of the video. So uh, here's the description. I'll, uh, I'll read it aloud. What really happened to Charlie? It's the question that John just can't seem to shake, along with the nightmares of Charlie's seeming death and miraculous reappearance. John just wants to forget the whole terrifying saga of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, but the past isn't so easily buried. Meanwhile, there's a new animatronic pizzeria opening in Hurricane, along with a new rash of kidnappings that feel all too familiar. Bound together by their childhood loss, John reluctantly teams up with Jessica, Marla, and Carlton to solve the case and find the missing children. Along the way, they'll unravel the twisted mystery of what really happened to Charlie, and the haunting legacy of her father's creations. Now let me clarify. So Charlie is the main character of the books, but in the, uh, spoiler alert, in the last book, The Twisted Ones, she dies of getting springlocked by one of William Afton's animatronics. For those who don't know who William Afton is, William Afton is Springtrap. At the end of The Twisted Ones, Charlie seems to come back from the dead, but someone points out that it's not really Charlie. I have three theories as to this. Possibility A is Charlie's mom, who is never in any of the books, but is briefly mentioned throughout some of them, and is a very mysterious character, not really anyone knows who she is. Possibility B, which is the most likely possibility, is that it's Charlie's Aunt Jen, her caretaker, ever since Henry died, Henry being her father. This is backed up by the fact that whoever walks out of the car is in Aunt Jen's car. And uh, possibility C is that it's a doppelganger of Charlie. Now, I know that sounds insane and far-fetched, but every now and then, in the Twisted Ones, it will hit towards the possibility that there are multiple Charlies. So it's hard to pinpoint who this mystery person is, given how vague the, the beginning of the summary is. I mean, first it mentions Charlie's arrival, then it implies that Carlton, John, and Marla need to find Charlie. Well, actually, I should have expected this. I mean, it's Scott Cawthon, after all. And, as we all know, he likes to make things as vague as possible. Aside from that, the summary makes it clear that John, who is usually the secondary main character in the books, is going to be the main character this time around. I also just want to mention that, it, that uh, in the first paragraph it says, the past isn't so easily buried. Now, I think this is symbolic of something, and I would talk about why. But so you guys don't die of boredom before finding out what the fourth closet is. And, uh, by guys, I probably am only referring to the one person watching this video. I'll, uh, I'll get to the next part. So this is the, this is the last thing I'm going to say about the summary. I just think that that new pizzeria opening, it pro it's probably made by William Afton. Which, that's why I think that the computer chip is in the background. It might even be the sister location itself. Now, I know these two universes aren't connected, the game universe and the book universe. However, there are some ties between each of the universes. Now, guess what? It's time that I reveal what the fourth closet is. Notice, I didn't say theorize on what it is. I said reveal. Because I am 99.9% .9 positive that this is what it is. 
The fourth closet is a closet in Henry's house that contains souls. You probably interpreted that in one of two ways. Either A, you think that was incredibly cheesy and I wouldn't blame you, or you think it's insanely far-fetched and also I don't blame you for that either. Just hear me out. Now this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down, and I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there, I'll tell you- The 42 times the word closet was used throughout this book trilogy. There are a few instances, though, where closets seem to be very significant, such as on pages 194 and 5 in the Twisted Ones. To make sense of the next part, you're gonna need to know that Sammy is Charlie's twin brother that died uh, when she was three at Fredbear's family diner. During the events of the Twisted Ones, she feels like his ghost is following her around somewhere. She also ends up- she also keeps on drawing doors on anything she can unconsciously. I'll give you a minute to read all this. The main reason I showed y'all that was because of what Charlie said. Doors, but not these doors. It also, it also mentions that there are three other doors. Those doors are meant to contain Theodore, Ella, and Stanley, the first three creations of Henry. Sadly, that's the only evidence I have to back up this theory. Oh, well, what's this? This ties it all together because it implies that Sammy is trapped behind a door. Perhaps a closet door? And three of the closets are already taken up by animatronics. That would leave another closet, the fourth closet, for Sammy's soul to reside in. Heck, it's even implied at the end of the Twisted Ones that Charlie finds the fourth closet, but then is distracted by Twisted Freddy. Who knows, Charlie might be sent to the fourth closet after she dies. Heck, she might even be the puppet, but that's a theory for a whole nother day. Let's say, if I get five likes on this, I'll make a theory about that. So, I'll admit, this video was a pain to make. But, if you guys enjoyed it, it would be worth it to make another one. Anyways, thank you guys for watching.